How you guys doing? It's that wrestling dude YT, and today we are unboxing the Pro Wrestling Crate January 2022 box. I have no fucking clues in here. I cannot remember. Um, I fucking do have COVID right now, so I got fog brain, you know. Um, but yeah. Well, I'm on the very ass end of COVID. Well, let's say that. <laughs> it's not too terrible. Um, but we're gonna see what's in here because I have no clue. I cannot remember. Um, I think I saw on Facebook one of the shirts or somebody said something about who the shirt was. I can't even remember the name though, if I'm gonna be honest. Um, I can't remember my name, if I'm gonna be honest. Um, but we're gonna open it and figure it out, I guess. Um, <clears throat> the other side of this card contains the contents of this crate. Next month's crate features Hangman Adam Page. Good name. Dusty Broads. Good name. Dude Love. Good name. Nasty Boys. Conan. Conan. I think that's a guy from WCW. I don't think that's a new guy from like the Ascension or anything. Road Warrior Animal. Luke Gallows and Jerry the King Lawler. Pretty good fucking box. Solid. Okay. This side has who's on it or what's in this box. So I'm going to set that to the side. And we go first shirt oh something just fell first shirt can you guys see it because i sure as hell can't who is that johnny gargano or Gar johnny carnage who the fuck's johnny carnage is that johnny gargano <laughs> i didn't watch nxt if i'm gonna be honest <laughs> like I don't know who that is. I think that's Johnny Gargano, Gargano. Gargano. I don't know. I liked him in the Royal Rumble a few years ago. But I don't know if that's him. So I can't speak on anything like that. But we do have a sticker. That is a fucking... I do believe that's Bret Hart. Yes. Bret the Hitman Hart. I was going to say. Unless it's like Natalia or something. Because she kind of rips him off. But Bret Hart. Alright. I remember he was in this box. I'm starting to remember there were some good names in this box. It was like Bret Hart. I think Adam Cole was in it couple other people and then there was like two bad ones i think that was one of the bad ones <laughs> but for a heart sticker i always put these on my fridge i don't know why I have a whole fridge full of stickers we're going to do the pin this is like a this is a big pin this is a big fucking pin i don't know damn oh that's rick flair that's who it was oh what's that say oh it just says rick flair that's actually a really nice fucking pin that's a solid ass pin. That's that's a very I know you guys can't see it real fucking well. Yeah, let's try to Nope, that's not gonna work. Nope, nope, nope. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know. It's a solid pin though. It kinda looks like um like them glass panes at churches, like behind him, and like the art drawn on it. I don't you can't uh oh okay, maybe you can see it a little bit better right there. Kind of. Oh, it's kinda fucking it's a really nice pin. I'm just sad to see it go. It's a really nice pin, but I don't keep pins. I don't do anything with them. What am I going to do with a pin? You know what I mean? Like, some people collect them. I just... Not me. I'm not the one. <coughs> Who is it? I... Boom! It's Adam Cole, baby. I like Adam Cole. Did not watch him in NXT. I've seen clips on Facebook and stuff. I like his AEW run. I like him. I love Britt Baker. It's a cool shirt. Cool shirt. Kind of like bland design. But I like it. And I like what they're doing in AEW now. There's a big ass string that just came off of that. Can't be good. I know you guys can't see that. But can't be good. Um, I like what they're doing with the Elite and the Undisputed Era. Um... Without Roger Strong. But. It's pretty good. I don't know what this is. But I just got a glimpse of it. I really don't know. Is that a pizza cutter? It's a. Oh it's the pizza cutter from Jericho. And. Oh that's cool. Is this an actual pizza cutter though? Because I'll keep the fuck out of that. Like. Oh. Then, gay. It says Deathmatch King Matt Cardona. Which. Okay. Cool. It's a wrestling pizza cutter. I just thought they were gonna like gimmick the or 
parody like the match between Jericho and Nick Gage where they did the pizza cutter across the head and then the Domino's commercial. I think it was Domino's commercial came on like picture in picture when he was slicing them up. That would have been fucking cool. This is cool too. I want to know if this is real pizza cutter. That's pretty fucking sharp, bro. It is just plastic, but I feel like... No, I'm definitely keeping this. I'm de This is definitely... I gotta make some pizza. It's not like... Let me see if it'll look like... Oh yeah, that could that it could definitely cut fucking skin there. Because that was... <laughs> that hurt. That was sharp. How the fuck do these guys do that shit? That's a... Uh... Definitely something to keep. That's cool. I'll set that aside for the stuff I'll be keeping. Oh my head. That fucking short, buddy. This is plastic. It didn't kick my ass. Okay, so we got a DVD, I think. It looks like a DVD, but it's not in like the average DVD case. It's like a Blu-ray case. Fancy. Hey, Sammy Guevara's on this. Bask in his glory. Alright. Pro Wrestling Gorilla returned to American Legion post number 308 in Reseda, California on May 25th, 2018 for possibly the final time with Bask in His Glory featuring seven marvelous matches including Keith Lee's final appearance. This is a must-see Blu-ray. Singles match, Tyler Bateman versus Uptown Andy Brown. <coughs> Singles match, Jake Atlas versus Ray Horace. Singles match, Bandito versus Robbie Eagles. Singles match, Loose Ledge, Adam Brooks versus Limitless, Keith Lee. Singles match, Jonah Rock versus Timothy Thatcher. Singles match, Matthew Riddle. Riddle? Versus David Starr. And Pro Wrestling Gorilla World Championship title match, Walter Champion versus the best ever, Sammy Guevara. That's a pretty solid fucking DVD, if I'm gonna be honest. That's cool. Pretty solid. Okay. So... I think they've already done a brawl of this guy before, but it is IRS. Again, do not give a shit about IRS. They have given an autograph for him before. Um, how a brawler? I think they've done a brawler. They've definitely done a shirt. It was Ted DiBiase and IRS, and my head still hurts. Um, I hope I'm not the only one that tried that with the pizza cutter like in other videos somebody else better have tried to scalp himself or they're not real wrestling fans i'm sorry um okay not good i'm gonna, I'm gonna give that like a one out of ten <laughs> and then we got the autograph the box has not been solid it's been okay the pizza cutter was definitely i can't get this out the pizza cutter has definitely been the uh the wow of it adam cole shirt Cool. We'll let's skip the autograph before we judge things too harshly. Okay. Oh, looks like it's facing this way. Is that Tony Nice? That is Tony Nice. Alright. Clean autograph. I'm not a fan of Tony Nice. Uh, I haven't really watched much of his stuff to be a fan, so no, you know, no, uh, <coughs> nothing against him because I don't watch his stuff. Um, didn't really watch Cruiserweights, uh, unless they're on Raw, like Akira Tozawa was cool, um, but I really watch Raw anymore. So, to finish the box off, let's see, Johnny Carnage, Johnny Gargano t-shirt, damn, I'm good, for someone who's never seen him fucking except the Royal Rumble. Ticking Time Bomb Adam Cole t-shirt, it was a bomb? Oh yeah, it was a bomb, it was a, it was old 80s style bombs with the rope and the black ball or the billiard um irs micro brawler 250 chase variants included what or is the chase variant you motherfucker i bet it's just the tie color and the straps or something um pro wrestling gorilla blu-ray grab bag huh So it might have just been like different things in this grab bag that they were like, all right, this person's getting this, this person's getting this, this person's getting this. I don't know. I like the DVD. I think that's pretty cool. But if someone got someone else that's better, I might be pissed. 
Tony Nese autographed 8x10. All right. Ric Flair label pin. 100 chase variants included. Where are you, label pin? You're under all this carnage. <laughs> Get it? Johnny Carnage? No? Okay. It's probably Ric Flair in like blue or something. That's the variant. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. <clears throat> Matt Cardona pizza cutter. Cool. Cool. I like the pizza cutter. I like... I like household things. Bret Hart sticker, by the way. Also, that. I like household things. Um, I like things I can use around my house that people know. Hey, this dude's a fucking wrestling fan. Or, hey, that's cool. That's not something you'd think of when wrestling. Pizza cutter, really? Like, you wouldn't think of that. Um, the Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Um, oh, God, what was it called? <laughs> Grooming kit. Awesome. I use that all the fucking time. Like, it's cool as shit. It's helped me out in so many situations. Literally, like, I got my stitches out of my hands with something in there. I've got splinters out with shit. Like, literally, it it's so nice. Like, and it has everything in there. Like, it's fantastic. It's genuinely great. Um... But, like, I love when it's not just shirts, a pin, you know, a DVD, and an autograph. I love when they throw something random in there. Like a fucking pizza cutter. Cool as shit. Like, that's awesome. Um, <clears throat> and a string. If you want a string, that's on me for some reason. Um, but, I guess we'll see what we get next month, too. So, Adam Page, Dusty Rhodes, Dude Love, Nasty Boys, Conan, Conan, I want to say Conan, I'm going to say Conan, Road Warrior Animal, Luke Gallows, and Jerry the King Lawler. So, I think, Adam Page shirt, I'm just going to say it, biggest name in there to me, um, of today's people, I'm going to say Adam Page. <coughs> um, I will say a Dude Love Micro Brawler. Um, I want to say Jerry the King Lawler shirt. I want to say a Dusty Rhodes pin. A little Nasty Boys item, maybe like DVD. Um, maybe like a Conan sticker, Conan. Um, did I say animal yet? No, animal. He'll probably have, like, I don't know. They might throw something small in. I'd like to see, like, like, something to do with their pads. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Something to do with it. That'd be cool. Um, maybe just, I don't really know. But, Something to do with their pads. Like, that, that'd that be cool to me. Um, even if it's just little rubber ones that are like, you know, like, that's cool, you know? Um, and I assume Luke Gallows would be the autograph, because it's usually somebody little, like, uh, it's not going to be, like, in this box. It wasn't going to be Bret Hart or Adam Cole or <coughs> Rick Flair. It just wasn't going to be. It's going to be, like, a $15 autograph, Tony East, you know, or $10 or something. Oh, my head is still, I've been fucking, this thing's short, bro. It's not, like, too short because it's plastic, but holy fuck. Like, it's definitely short. Um, I definitely think it'll work and it's not a novelty item. But I do like the novelty items. Like, like, give me a Road Warrior, like, salt and pepper shaker, you know? And, like have their heads, the top of their heads, like their hair, you know how Hawk has his over here? Make the holes right there and it out of his hair and then Animal has the mohawk down the middle, have come out of there and then the, like it can go down the salt and pepper shaker and like have the pads like halfway out, you know? That'd be cool as shit. Like I don't know how you do it, but do it. That's awesome. Like I would use those for the rest of my life. I'm sorry. Like that's just those would be the coolest fucking thing to me. Little novelty items like that. Fantastic. That's cool as shit. 
and I'm gonna like show everybody for the rest of my life if something like that happens. You know what I mean? Like pizza cutter. Oh, I'm getting rid of my old one. This is gonna be my new pizza cutter. If this works for pizza, like if it's not just some bullshit that's gonna break. Oh, this is forever, like until it busts, you know. And even then, I'll try to fix it. I don't know how, but it looks like it'd be easy, easily fixable, honestly. Um, because it just kind of looks like it sits in there. Like it looks like you could bend the plastic away, and just I don't know if you could buy like the wheels. But I definitely feel like you could make this last for a while, if not for the rest of my life. But, um. And next month, I'm still subscribed to Pro Wrestling Loot and Crate. Um, the AEW Crate game this month. Check that video if you haven't. <coughs> um, and I guess I'll see you guys next month for Pro Wrestling Loot. That usually ships on the 10th. And the 20th is Pro Wrestling Crate. Um, AEW Crate does not come for another three months now. So I think March? March? Y'all late create? Um, no, wait, January, okay. Does January count? January, February, March. Yeah, it should be March, I feel like, or April. No, it's in April because that's WrestleMania, and I remember I was like, damn, it's gonna be a good month. Um, I think it's in April. I don't fucking know. Fuck if I know. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, I sincerely enjoy doing these for you. Um, if you guys got any different for, like, this um let me know because i'm genuinely curious on like what they did with this the grab bag i'm not really sure about that um other than that thank you guys and i'll see you next month